Yo, what it do, gang? It's your boy Lee John. Now I'm back with another mother loving video, baby. And always remember, you better wake up, make your list, start accomplishing it. Because if it ain't done your way, then how do you expect to have any leeway? And always remember another thing you better get what you deserve and not what you serve. And that's on God, man. It's a beautiful day. Hold on, wipe off the camera. Wait, look, we about to get ready to get started in some other stuff. Um, about to get ready to go pump my mom Duke's gas. Um, getting ready for some other stuff too, y'all. But, um, you ready, Mom? About to get ready with some other stuff. But I was trying to tell folks, yeah, I got to get. I'm about to finish cutting that down right over there. But remember, I was telling y'all, this was the old piece that I was going to put on the trunk. See how I opened up? Got a little extra weight to it. So the thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the key and try to get the piece to fit over this. Imagine I just got the back piece, right? And I got everything integrated into one so it can sit on my car like that. Forget this piece. This is just going to be the design piece. Matter of fact, hold on. No lie, this hole is tough. So, take a piece like this, right? Just imagine this piece being by itself, right? Except I got the Landau one that's just come, it comes with a thinner plate. So since I got the Landau one, it's thinner and it could be able to go on there better. Plus I'm gonna have it integrated on the back bumper um, keyhole so it can be together in one piece. So from the music, from everything, from the music and stuff I'm going to have in it, it could be bumping, 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 and that piece never falls off. It's going to be integrated on the bumper. It's going to be its own piece, but it's going to be part of the keyhole. So, a lot of folks asking me, these are what I'm going with. I mess with Hertz on all my highs and all my stuff and everything, and for my bass, I'm going with Sundown. That's when I'm just going with 212s, and I ain't going nothing major. 212 Sundowns, but Hertz, everything goes. I love the quality, I love the clarity, and I just love Hertz. But yeah, one thing I wanted to tell y'all about the back keyhole, I got this one, I'm keeping it up for thing, but yeah, basically, this is gonna be here, this is gonna be a circle, and some other stuff is gonna be integrated, so that's how, um, like I said, I got a couple of plans today, I'm about to see if they can come to true today, because I really wanna see Tyler get chewed out, and some other stuff. Where JoJo at? And we got Jojo. So we was looking at the cars and stuff, right? And I told mom, we got way more space than what you think. I moved that car over. Look how much fucking room I got now. I got like a whole fucking three feet. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> like that's be look at this. I moved that over. We can fit fucking bus a bus between here now. Literally a I drive trucks because I can do I know how to do that. You can literally fit a whole bus in between her and that car now. But yeah, let's go pump this gas, man. Let's go see what's going on with T. Because it's earlier in the day and I'm out and about. And I got to go see about some job stuff. So we going. Look at my neighbor car lower. I love his man. I love that purple truck, man. I'm a car enthusiast, man. I can't have it all. But golly, if I could have me a garage of like 10, 20 cars, I already know what I want. One, some people was asking me like what is my dream truck what is one truck that I want to build that I know that it'd be real different and that'd be a OBS F350 Dually Centurion the extra long Dually sit that mug on probably some 30s any level kit man Make that mug look good, show ready. I, I, me personally, I ain't gonna lie to y'all though. I might have a little bit of fun to it because I wouldn't want it just to be a show truck. I probably towed that mug with a gooseneck. Like, man, I don't know, man. I just be seeing so many people do incredible stuff with their trucks and stuff, and I just want to be a part of it, man. I got a big dream, man. But right now, we got other stuff that we focused on, man. So I'm just talking. I'm going to wrap it up with y'all in a minute after I go stop at his shop and we'll see what they talking about. All right, I'm going to sit here and give y'all the heads up. 
I have 19 more weeks until my baby get here. And I'm going to be approximately at work for 18 weeks before she actually get here. So within the next 10 weeks, we have to give us a used car and we're going to have to get our truck. And I'm going to have both of them and plus more. We're going to have content on everything. So this motherfucker is nice. I love it. I don't know what. All right, cool. It's right here. Some 33-14-22 Dodge Ram. I love it. Skeleton. It's nice as hell, man. You already know about that one. Look, boy. You get yourself a you get yourself a truck, an old school truck, a dually truck or something to put these on the back of it or a single wheel. Right now, I I say it right now. 26 by 14, 26 by 14. I don't care what anybody say. And I ain't doing no spacers or nothing. I don't like spacers, so I like the way it sit. I'm not a spacer type of guy because it mess. Like when you got spacers on, it's only good for extent. People do 16 wides with a three inch spacer. I don't like that shit. Me personally, it's too wide and it fucks up the truck too fast. And I'm trying to enjoy my shit a little bit more. I don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere with my wheel wells or my damn hubs and shit blowing the fuck off. But we got other shit out here. This is from the other dealership, but this mug is clean. This mug is, you already seen this one. Got the sunroof. I don't know if this is his. I'm gonna ask the questions, but I like it. Park Ave's always been clean, but I never seen him have one here with the sunroof. Now, if y'all don't know, the motor in this one is nice. This one should have a 3,800 engine. One of the best engines on the market. Then that's the Mazda 3 right there that he had, the Ford Focus couple other cars out here that he had that look real freaking good that i love but it that car right there is real nice just to take out and have fun something real nice a lot of these cars like i said are worth it but y'all already know what you want i want i want that Sentra. like i said i'm going to be going car shopping in a couple of weeks after i start work save up my money so i can just cash out i don't care what's wrong with this mug like i'm going to see talk to him and stuff and everything so i get everything right so I can get it. Cause you could tell, like I said, I'm not worried about none of this. Cause I'll I'll go down to Bob. Like I said, I'll go down to my neighbor house and he can fix all this shit. He can fix all this shit. I'm not worried about none of it. But he got a sunroof, 112, three racks. You take it. You take it. That's what I want. I want this as a daily. I'm so used to having a car. I want a gas saver again. So now that I'm having ownership and stuff, I can be smart about what I do. This is the best gas saver. Work on my old school and it'll be good. It's a great car. Um, he got some other stuff over here. Y'all see that truck over there. I don't mind getting a truck like this and flipping it. You got over 200K miles on it. But shoot, grab it. Got the Lear cap, got a couple other things. You never know. When you own stuff, you could trade up. Other people, other people love getting stuff. That's the one thing about trading. When you have something valuable that they know they can use, boy, it's a completely different story. So, not somebody own this truck. I wish they didn't. <sighs> Every time I see the last four trucks, Kebab got in and had a cap on it. And I love, I love my caps. So that's where I'm at. But that's what he got on the lot, and that's what we're gonna be going shopping with for uh, in a minute. They in there putting in work, so I'm about to go in there. As y'all can tell, I'm walking a little bit better and faster thanks to these compressors. My knee feeling better, so we good. But them two will be hard. Them two will be hard. But the other thing I just realized. If I ever upgrade my phone, I'm keeping this one just so I can record. I can have it for recording purposes because I actually love this phone for recording. And I can always keep it and load stuff off of it. This is like my mobile laptop right here. Like, I love this phone, man. I don't see myself ever getting rid of it. So now I officially got my backup phone for, for use and stuff. I'm just going to give me a regular phone just so I can keep. I can keep a lot of stuff on here and I can just transfer stuff over through IG and stuff. Have fun. Yeah, man. I love this. 14.5. Archons. So I bet the 22s is. I would like to go with 24s, though. I'd be good. 
I go 24s on my tow rig. 24s with a thick tire like that, probably a little bit thicker, just because if I want to do two. Um, I don't know what kind of lift that is, but it's nice. Um, we gonna be going. He got a Cadillac in there that I'm probably gonna get. Yo, in a yo, I got some great fucking news. He ain't mad at me. I told him what happened. He understood. Um, and that's my motherfucking brother, man. I love that man, bro. I don't give a damn what anybody goddamn say, bro. When you got good people around you and they want to see you be the best you can be, <sighs> man, I told him some other good news about me that I ain't share with y'all yet. And man, it's just, it's coming together. But here go the other news, though. My boy know how to make a cart for a great price so I can have for the body of the Monte Carlo. And all I got to do is drop it off for him, wait for a minute. Then he'll be able to build my cart so we can put the body on top of it and have it in the garage. Hallelujah! Let's go! So fucking happy right now, bro. Damn, man. Monte Carlo, I finally, bro. That's great goddamn news. It's been a lot more good news than bad, y'all. We're going to keep riding this damn train, goddamn it. Got to stay active. Got to stay aware. Got to stay open. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, we got great news for the Monte Carlo body to be sitting on top of a cart. And he was telling me, you know, we're going to line up some stuff, get some stuff and everything and all that. I'm, 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 I'm thankful for my brother, man. Thankful for my brother. So we're about to go see what else we can get into. I'm probably going to stop by and see Frank and see what he's doing and get some other stuff done. But man, that's the news for the day right there. The cart, I don't got to look for one until I, I'm, I'm going to wait to get my rotisserie. I got a couple other people that got rotisseries and stuff. Then we're going to start handling stuff from there. But the good part about it is he said where the boat's at on the body, this is the thing. The bolts that's on whereas where, where the bolt set is on the body, he gonna try to get it, he gonna make it for the cart and stuff and get everything going. I'm like, that's my motherfucking brother, bro. So I can lock them bolts down whenever I transport it or do some stuff and everything. Like, that's love right there, bro. And I'm gonna try to see if I could find a frame that's already braced and notched and everything and stuff for 24s and 26s with a look. I'm going to see if I can find some or I'm going to talk to a couple of um, people because Chicago normally is a great area to find them um, or they can do them without having the frame on the car because they, you know, they do it forever. So a lot of folks know how to do this. So if I can get that done like that, ooh, ooh, I'm picking that mug up ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? I'm picking it up ASAP and I already know the frame. Like, I just want the frame. I don't want the rear end. I don't want none of it. If they and if they already got the um the bar, I mean for the control arms and stuff in the back and everything, if they got all that stuff done to it, and they just want the frame going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy as hell. It'd be easier to tub at that point. Put it on the body, tub the car. You see where it's lined up at? Get it done. Voila, magic. Voila, magic feel what I'm saying so then we were sitting there talking about the motor and stuff and everything so like I said he know about boosted he's the boosted king anything he do boosted so the heads about that I know for a fact you can take your regular LS3 heads and all that stuff and everything and you can send them off to Frankenstein to get ported so the thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get me some nice set of heads I'm going to tell my brother about the bat just we want to change it up a little bit because like I said I'm staying in a with it I've been telling y'all I'm doing the LSA. I'm I'm just gassing y'all up and just gonna keep y'all going so I can keep making content. But the I know for a fact I'm just gonna get some nice heads that's LS3, you know, rectangular ported, and get them put on my car so we can have the NA going, get a nice cam, a nice cam that you know get that compression in that tune right so we could be pushing over 500 horsepower out of that motor. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm excited, I'm happy. Um, like I said, we was talking about which um, one we're going to go with. More likely, I'm going to go with the LS3 one because, like I said, that intake, the LS3 intake is superb, obviously. I like the BTR one, how it sits on the motor, but once again, you cannot stop with that LS3. That LS3 fast intake or the LS3 intake in general is just overall the best. No escaping it. So that's what we copping. That's what we getting for the car. Then we're going to get, like, I'm going to try to do some. I'm gonna try to get the um, 
dress some stuff up under the motor make it look good real like get some fuel reels that probably stick up a little bit or something like that like you know some that some that outstands and stuff and just get them brown like i said the accent color is brown so a lot of stuff will be brown brown like a champagne cocoa around that area so that's gonna be sexy man but the color of the car man i'm gonna um, be talking about i'm gonna be getting more in depth with that soon because it's more the pearls and stuff comes differently so i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna talk to um talk to orion automotive finishes and see what like pearl she got that's nice that can go up under that then i can put the um the finish that i want on top of it and boom i have it with the rainbow effect i might not be talking about all of we talking about g body regal i think you got a sunroof on it you gotta be a regal can't be nothing else look at that you gotta be a regal yo that mug man g body talking and g body just popped out of nowhere man that's how you know it's gonna be a great day you feel me so like i said the color that i want i'm going with something more like a I'm gonna sit here and tell you I was gonna be like a rose gold with something like that. I, I want something like real, like tannish rose, something like that mix. Cause it's gonna be like I said, I'm still gonna be between the real rose gold, fresh rose gold. Like I'm trying to see what rose gold is gonna complement that type of thing that I'm doing real good. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a chance to go stop by and see something and have it right in front of me. And I'm gonna be super excited about it, man. I'm gonna be super excited. So. I got a plan. I'm just doing my best to put it together. And I'm just going to rock out like that, y'all. I'm not going to sit here and be mad, sad. Nah, too much stuff is going. Too much stuff is going good, man. I'm going to keep it up. You feel me? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's stop and see what some other people are doing after I put some gas in here. So I'm going to go I'm going to go up the street and put some gas in it because I want to stop and get my favorite food real quick. So let's keep it pushing, man. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Then something I've been wanting to record. Damn. He got a lot of shit up here, man. A lot. He got the Cadillac. Wow. He got the Cadillac truck. He got that. He got the 5.0. Wow. That's crazy. I think he closed today. Is he open? No, he closed. But he got the Shelby. Now, that's not a Shelby. My bad. It's a 5.0. 5.0. I thought it was a Shelby. I seen the back louvers. I apologize. I love Mustangs like this. So, it's nice. It's clean. Now, y'all see that big motherfucker. But this is my dream car. One of my dream cars I always wanted. How much do we want for this one? It ain't got the sunroof. Oh, it ain't got the sunroof. That's a good. That's not a deal breaker. But, dang, it ain't got the sunroof on it. But, he got all types of cars up here, man. And he got a Merrill SS, man. The drop top Merrill SS. I think this is on some 22s. I don't care. Shit, motherfucker clean. I like it. You got an SS. Man, I like that. That SS is clean. But I think you got to go on Facebook Marketplace or his website. It's the Limited Auto LLC. If you own his number, it's 330-937-5919. 3733 Mahoning Avenue. There you go right there. But wow, that's crazy. I didn't even know it was that big on the inside. That's crazy. Then he got this big motherfucker up here. A Ford. I don't know what it is. But it's a gasser. I know that for sure. I think on a 14. He ordered an 8 inch lift, but it's a 14. On some XCOM MTs. It's uh 37, 13 by 50, 26. But this mug is big. He, I think he has swing doors on it and stuff too. But I love it. He got something else that match it, but yeah, that's on some 37. So shoot, you can still tow. Still tow with these things on them thick tires. These are thicker tires. Me, I probably do like a I say an eight to be on the safe side at eight, 
But if you got dualies and stuff, man, and y'all going to tow and stuff, that's what it looked like. Then he got all the memories on the back. Michael Anthony. I don't know who that is, but rest in peace, brother. Holding it all down, man. Got a backup camera right there. Got the dual pipes. I put some bigger pipes. Them pipes are big as hell because I know this mug sound good. But yeah, I like it. But me personally, I love the car. I, love, I just love the truck how it sits. Like, it sits so good. I get more in debt with it later on. I don't want to be feeling like nothing else is going on. Frank told me I could record it real quick. So, wanted to. Um, but yeah, 26 with some 37s, man. You could probably get away like with uh, eight. Got to do some cutting though, of course, because those are some thicker tires. Then you should be able to eight inch lift. I'll probably do six, six and a half, seven inch lift if you can. Between that mark, be able to still tote that mug and it look good and everything. Gooseneck purposes. But I'm happy. I don't. I don't want to show the other one because he haven't revealed it yet. So that's not my place to show. Oh, I wasn't gonna go in there and stick my nose in there. Um. So yeah, y'all. One more thing of this beauty, man. This mug is nice, bro. Nice. I love it. He has a thing for orange. If y'all don't know, he had the orange charger. So it, orange is his. Is this color? <laughs> well, that's a Z01 front bumper on the SS. I didn't see that, but you already know back in the day when you, between 2011 and 2016, everybody put Z01 front bumpers on their SSs. It, it was the wave. Let's stop and get some food real quick, and I'll holler at y'all in a minute so we can finish this video. All right, well, we're back at the house, man. Got a lot of great news today. Got a lot of stone for that. For that also, we'll find out later on what we're going to do with that. Um, right now, It's a parts car. It's a parts car. So, yes, all I got to do is throw a motor front bumper and other stuff and everything, and it'll be back fully operational. But I'm going to leave it as a parts car until I know what they want me to do with it. But until then, hey, this is not a parts car. So, we are actually about to get to get it off the frame. Like I said, man, people kept asking about that. I'm going to keep showing it. Man. That kind of sucks. But it can be repaired, though, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, that part over there is good. Um, I'm going to get the nuts and bolts. Like The bolt is going through there, right there. So whenever I get the bench thing set, whenever we get it started, I'm most definitely going to get it prepped up right. Um... Then I got some other stuff I got to get loosened up. It's some screws in here. It's like three screws holding this together. Three screws holding this together. So I'm going to get these two things sticking off because I don't need them on there right now. So get these two screws. Then you got the two screws holding the bumper down there. Then along this line, you got about three screws and three more screws, I think, holding the whole back bumper on. But while I'm getting everything taken off, that'll get done with the help from my brother. So I'm really done with it, all this other stuff until we get this car off the frame and get everything started on this motherfucker. I'm off this bitch. Like, it's going to take time. So we just might as well just keep might as well just keep enjoying this motherfucker because get a whole a whole put through all of this stuff so it's gonna be a whole bunch of other shit we gotta get to put on this motherfucker so so i'm gonna be doing a run reveal next video i promise i'm gonna actually reveal the world that i'm choosing to go with because everybody keep asking that so um next video we'll do the reveal of the wheel so everybody can start getting an idea because i want to get stuff started um as in some no some notes now mind you this is hands-on with me so it's not always going to involve money with me because i know how to get my hands dirty unlike a lot of folks i don't mind getting my hands dirty and getting stuff started 
getting stuff loosened up, you know. So, plain and simple, we just gonna keep doing that. So until next video, I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. Love y'all. Always remember, I'm gonna start doing the questions again. But until people start answering in the comment section, that last question I put up a couple of videos ago, we're gonna keep it randomized. What did you learn from my videos? Put it in the comment section. Whoever got the best response, we're gonna go up. So me and O'Shea is out.